All right, welcome. And in this video, I am going to show you how to get access to ChatGPT's new web browser function. We're going to test it out real quick here so I can show you a few things and also how to get access to the plugins feature. Now, before we proceed, you do need to have a ChatGPT Plus. That is where it's being rolled out right now. I'm sure at some point it will be available for other users as well. But just to be clear, you need to have ChatGPT Plus. So we go up here, we see our two options here. Obviously, you have GPT-4. And underneath here, you see this little browser menu, okay? So here we have browsing, which is under beta, and you can check mark that, but also plugins, and you can check mark that. If you are not seeing this, here's a reason why. Go all the way down here to the corner and click on those little uh, dots. Underneath your settings, you will see beta features. When you click on this, you should see plugins right away, and you can click on that to turn that slider on. Now you may or may not have access to web browsing yet. This is just being rolled out. Uh, they said that by the end of this week, pretty much most of the users should have it. But as soon as you see this underneath here, all you have to do is click that as well. That is all you need to do. So when we get out of this, then we'll be able to access it. When you go up here, you can click on browsing. So let's just start with that to begin with. Now, I am gonna say before moving forward, there has been a lot of errors in using it uh, recently, especially today, a lot of what we call click failures. And I'm gonna show you what I mean by this. So when we're actually searching in here, number one, there's been some delays on stuff, which is kind of interesting. So when I click on this, um, I did search something very simple. For example, I said, give me some of the top articles on CNN, and I put today's date. And when you click down here, the operation you could see actually failed. It could not retrieve the articles because when we click down here, it started it. It was able to click on CNN, for example. It was reading content, scrolling, et cetera. But then we kept getting click failures all the way down, okay? And then it finishes the browsing. So that just occurred to me uh, right before I started this video because I wanted to demo that. But if you go back one slide here, I was, I typed in the exact same thing and here it finished the browsing. You could see that it read the content and it finished and it gave me the top articles from CNN. So these are all things that happened today. So this is pretty much the outputs that we're looking for with getting access to the browser. And the cool thing also is, you see the little number one right there? We have a link for these, okay? So, and that shows up in the bottom uh, left corner of the screen. So we can click on those to get access individually to those content pieces. So it is just absolutely amazing that this is where we're going. We're just gonna be able to ask ChatGPT to go find content for us, to scan websites and so forth, and get access with these kinds of content uh, outputs. So that is super, super exciting. But you will notice, of course, as I went up through here, I had a couple more things we will be able to do, and I was able to do this yesterday, not able to do it today for whatever reason. I just think there's a lot going on and people are going and accessing it, so there's probably a lot of overwhelm to the system. So I'm sure that that'll upgrade soon. But for example, I would scan this URL, give me a summary, right? So we should be able to actually go through other pieces of content, extract things like keywords, uh, headlines, other SEO optimized uh, components of a page, so that we can improve our content, see what's ranking in the top 10. There's a lot of cool stuff that we can do with this, okay? So you're gonna have to tinker with this a little bit. Like I said, I got a lot of errors, but I did wanna create a video to show you how to make sure you get access to this. Now, let's talk about plugins. So when we click on this again, remember in the settings, we have to have beta features plugins turned on. Now, when we go to a new chat, we're gonna use our drop down here and click on plugins. Now, I already have one plugin installed, which we're gonna be talking about on an additional video here called SEO.app. But you can scroll down here and go to the plugin store. Now, when we're on the plugin store, uh, we've got a lot of different options here. There are a lot of, of things in here so far, so I'm fairly impressed. We have new, most popular, and all plugins. So some of these ones on here are kind of interesting to start with. Other ones I don't think I may be using too much of, but here's one for example unlock the power of your PDFs. You can dive into documents, find answers, and bring information to your fingertips. Very cool. So I think with that, we'll be able to uh, ask ChatGPT to look over data, um, to get ideas about uh, concepts if we're reading eBooks, any of those sorts of things, okay? So as we go through here, there were some that are fairly interesting. Um, we have Zillow on there. For example, we have chat with PDF that is on there, which is cool as well, Redfin. 
But I think the one that I was most interested in is the one that I had just mentioned. Let's see if we can find this on here. And uh, it might actually be because I actually had this already installed. But the one that I wanted you to grab is called SEO.app. Now in this, of course, it is gonna have access online to things that we wanna look for. It's gonna function very much like the web browser does where we can type in a search query and we can ask it to actually generate SEO optimized content for us. And that is pretty cool. So I'm gonna show you an example of what I had pulled up and here it is. So I went in and I created an SEO optimized blog post for the title, how to make money online with ChatGPT and using the SEO.app. Now look what it generated. It went um, through what's available online and it reconstructed an article for me. And if we, the cool thing is when we click in here, we can see what it did. So it had the key phrase in here, the context. Okay, so it automatically entered this. This blog post is about various strategies and methods to make money online using ChatGPT. It should include information about the technology, its applications, and how individuals and businesses can leverage for income generation. That is awesome. Okay, and this is all I prompted. Now we go through and we look at the response. There's a lot of different things in here. Went through emotions, greed, better <laughs> drive, extra, all of these different things. This is really interesting to read, okay? We have LSI entities in there, content, business, money, et cetera. We have the primary keyword that's in there. And of course, feedback here is the primary keyword in the first paragraph and is it in at least one subheading. Very, very cool, the things that are baked into this uh, SEO app. So we had all of the different scans of things that it had looked at, right? The title, the URL that it looked at, it analyzed the head, uh, headlines, and of course, all of these additional long tail keywords. So there was a lot that went into actually creating this output, but that is super awesome. Now, of course, I'm a fan of using some other AI content writers to, to accomplish this, but now it is going to be uh, baked right into ChatGPT for simplicity. So make sure you check this out. You get access to the web browser, install it, and also grab the SEO uh, plugin as well because I'm gonna be talking about this on a few additional videos, but this is going to be a very, very exciting week. Uh, a lot of new coming, uh, content coming at you here. So make sure you like this video, you comment and subscribe to the channel. And uh, of course, uh, let me know if you have access to these features below in the comments here. I'm curious who's got it, who isn't, and if you're getting some uh, click fails and so forth, let me know. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon on the next video.